friends, it's Amber from Amber Panther Day, and I'm coming on to set up a notebook for some classes that I'm going to be like taking online. They're free classes, so it's not really like anything serious, but it's just things that I want to be able to take notes for and like learn about and just do things like that. Um, so I'm going to be using this Erin Condren notebook. I got this in two years ago. I haven't used it and I'm like, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It's beautiful. And I think it's a really nice layout. It is the priorities and notes layout. So I kind of want to rip this page out ha make a cover page with you guys and then explain how I want to use this layout for my note taking what do we think about that should I rip this out I mean I don't necessarily have to rip it out but I won't use this at all like, I'm going to make this a cover page. So, okay, let's just start. Let's just start with that. Let's start. So, I have Bible Journaling Essentials, Volume 2, and just the original one. Um, I've literally had so many requests to make a third volume of this. I cannot promise anything right now, but I get them. I get them. I promise I get them. I am definitely considering it. I promise it's something that I'm looking into. I'm thinking about all the things. So just want to let you know, I'm not trying to leave you hanging on purpose, but it is there. Oh, look at this. Rose did not put, Rose was in here. I don't know if any of these work anymore. Okay, this works. Look at this. All of the lids are on the bottom of this page. Why did I do that, Amber? That was a sad choice. All right, let's try to try to do this. Oh, I don't know if any of these work anymore. She was coloring a picture maybe like two days ago. At least one of them worked. So hopefully that means, hopefully that means all of them work. I feel a little bit better about that. Okay, so let's make a cover page. Now that I can see uh, a little bit clearer. I'm gonna take a couple of the florals from here. I do love these florals. Then again though, if I do rip this page out, this is gonna be like the front. You open here to here and those florals won't match. Uh, I don't really care. I don't think I care that much. All right, I'm gonna put this in the corner. Um, and then I think I'm going to write on here. I don't like that purple. Let's find a different purple. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. With my favorite Calio grass. Oh, that's rough. Let's see this other side. Uh, that is not the purple I thought it would be at all. That looks like a plum and it comes out almost black. Let's see. Maybe this one. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I want to see. Yep, I like this one. But also, like... Maybe we go for like a little bit too orangey. I thought that was going to be like a pink. It was not. This one. <gasps> Perfect. Perfecto. Okay. 
let's do a kind of, okay, I'm gonna write my name in this purpley color. Um, let's do, this is gonna be a little rough, I think, because of the coils being a lefty. Let's do ambers. Ambers. Tick. Tick. Like that. Okay, love that. And then I probably should do like the smaller one. Um, Ambers. Bible. Oopsies. See, good thing. Double checked. How to spell Bible. <laughs> Bible class. Notes. Okay, that's good. So basically I'm taking some like different like seminary colleges and things like that. They have like free Bible classes and I'm just taking some of those um, here and there, like nothing like serious or anything like that and nothing consistent, nothing like to earn a degree or anything like that either just um enough to feel like I'm taking some classes learning some more expanding my knowledge in something that I am passionate about something that I want to be learning more about and things like that I feel like I need to come up and do that better. Then maybe one more right there. Then let's come in and oh wait, I should do maybe one I'm gonna do that right there. Okay, then let's do some um quotes, maybe one or two. Do 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 do. Um, just trying to guess, uh, maybe like, maybe I kind of, maybe I like, you know what? I have an idea that made no sense. I was like, maybe in a, but in a, maybe in a, um, I had a process in my brain. I promise. I want to find a functional box and I know exactly where one is. I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna take my paper mate flare 
and I'm going to write a little something about why I want to be doing this, like why I want to be expanding my knowledge. So, um, wow. Hang on a second. I feel like I want to look at something really quick. Um, okay. Early summer of twenty twenty four. Ugh, this is gonna be rough. I felt the urge and calling to dive deeper. Okay, these coils are going to bother me. I can like feel it even if I'm taking notes like on the class, I can feel it. Oh, I wish this was disbound. Uh, dive deeper in my understanding. And knowledge of the Lord because I feel a tug to deepen my youth ministry. roots and teaching opportunities i want to be prepared for his calling I think I'm going to leave it like that. Then um, I'm going to come and I'm just going to look for a quote that I'm thinking like something long. So I'm just going to like look at all of the ones that I have in here. And see if anything fits. Oh, ooh, I should do some washi strips. I love good washi strips. I just love washi. It is so fun. I wanna like rip this actually. Choo -choo. I love the ripped effect. It's just so pretty. Maybe I'll do a little bit down here. Let's do a little bit here and a little bit there. I might do a little bit more. I don't know yet, but I need to look in here for some more quotes. I might just have to like pick one that goes with the theme of what I'm wanting. Ooh, just kidding. Found one. I'm just gonna put this like right here. Every good and perfect gift is from above. 
Okay. I think I'm obsessed with that actually. And then I want to just set up this first page to kind of be prepared for my first class. Oh man, I'm kind of bummed that it like shadows through. I mean, like, I guess it's not, I mean, it's not like the end of the world. Whatever. Okay. Um, I think I'll probably just take like a regular pen. Um, I don't know if I have a regular pen. Okay. I'm going to take this again because I don't have a black ballpoint or gel. Um, I'm going to write apologetics. Class. I'm going to write Denver Seminary because that is who I'm taking it through. And then I'm going to write October 2024 on here. And then I'm going to write like lesson one. And then the name of lesson one will go right here. And then I'll take my notes there. And then this side, I'm thinking I'm going to have six. Maybe, I mean, I might not have six, but like key takeaways from each, like from the lesson, like nuggets that they say, like that the professor says, like that I just really want to remember from each lesson, kind of like just like those really important things that I really want to remember. So like this is like for the general notes. This is going to be for like six key standout points. If there's not six, you know, I'll just take up two or three or whatever. I could always put stickers there or whatever. And then this will be for the general notes. And then the, the same thing, like the next lesson, lesson two, and then lesson three, um, whatever that looks like. And then go from there. But... And then like if and then after I take all of apologetics, like if it takes up this many pages, then I'll write like, you know, the next free class that I take, who offers it because they might not all be at Denver Seminary or whatever, and then go from there. So if you guys know of free classes that I can take, let me know. I'm just looking into them right now. Um, but I know that this one was one that interested me pretty quickly right off the bat that I wanted to start with and I love like just having a little notebook that I can use to take notes with I kind of want to rip this off I did it I I did it I mean it, I think it makes sense to like have this be the opening page you know what I mean just it makes sense it makes sense okay uh yeah I'm obsessed with that and I love this cover so much this is so pretty so anyway Sometimes you just need a good notebook. You just need a good notebook. And I love this layout. I really do. I think this is really good for that note taking style where it's like, I'm going to have those key quotes, those like memory things I really want to note. Like, even if it's like a verse that he says, like is really important, kind of noting it here and then having general notes here. I think that's going to be really an amazing way to take notes during these classes. But um, I didn't, um, I've never used this notebook before and I've just had it for like two years. So I'm really glad to dive deep into it. Um, but with that being said, you guys, I hope that this video was inspiring to you and kind of showed a new way or a new idea on how to use the, this, um, priorities and notes notebook from Erin Condren. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you miss any future videos of mine, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.